Hello everyone, I am Teacher Edna and welcome to another awesome episode of Grade 6 Science. Are you ready? Let us begin. Our lesson for today is all about colloids. Colloids are one of the primary types of mixture. It is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid, or solid. What are the components of a colloid? First is the dispersed phase. It is the component typically present in a relatively small amount. And the dispersion medium. It is the substance or solution throughout which particulate is dispersed. These are the characteristics of a colloid. It is a heterogeneous mixture. Colloid creates a Tyndall effect. It is the effect of light scattering in a colloidal dispersion, and if no light is shown, then it is a true solution. This is how the Tyndall effect works. So as you can see here, in the true solution, the light beam is not visible, while in the colloidal solution, the light beam is visible. The Tyndall effect is used to determine whether the mixture is a true solution or a colloid. There are different types of colloid. First is emulsion. It is formed between two liquids. The examples are milk, mayonnaise, whipped cream, butter, cheese, margarine, hair cream, and lotion. The next one is sol. It is a colloidal suspension with the solid particles in a liquid. The examples are paints, jellies, gel, glue, blood, hand soap, and ink. Another type of a colloid is a foam. It is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid. Examples are suds, beer foam, and marshmallows. The next type is an aerosol. It contains small particles of liquid or solid dispersed in a gas. Examples are fog, dust, and smoke. Here are other examples of an aerosol. Pesticide spray, disinfectant spray, and insecticide spray. Did you learn something today? Let us try this short quiz. Direction. Identify if it is a colloid or a solution. Number one, soft drinks. Two, gelatin. Three, vinegar. Four, conditioner. Five, strawberry jam. It's time to check your work. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something today from our lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Bye!